Right, hello again. Today I am going to be dealing with a self pump out. The big issue in today's video is poo. So here are all the bits we use for a self pump out. Um, this was originally made because we got iced in one year, couldn't move the boat, couldn't go to the pump out. Um, basically we had a tank full of food. We couldn't empty and we couldn't do nothing with. So I made this. So basically what it is, is a whale toilet gulper pump. Basically the same thing as the 220 that was in one of the last videos. Um, I've got some lay flat hose, lay flat hose into a nozzle there that goes into a drum. Um, I've got some cable here. I rigged up a feed. I know for you, you people out there, you'll see that plug. That will be the wrong type of plug because that plug can be put around either way. Um, but it's wired and I just always put it nut to nut. So I've never had a problem with it. But you could do with a plug that you can put that you can't connect around the wrong way. That is a mains plug. So I always put it nut to nut with the female that's connected in the cupboard on the boat hanging out of the wall. Um, yeah, moving on to this, I've just got a little box, a little project box under here. A little project box under here, with a switch on the front, with a little waterproof cover on it. Just goes into a connector block, into a length of wire. Um, it's all propped up a little bit to make it work on four little plastic door stops on the rubbers. Um, all attached to quite a horrible looking bit of plywood really. Um, we've got the fitting over here that fits onto the roof. Um, we've also got the fitting here that goes onto the, onto the clear plastic. So basically you have this set up. This screws into the roof of the boat. This goes onto there. This goes on to the end of the pump there. We've got another white washer. Oh, we've got another white washer that goes into the start of our lay flat hosing um, and obviously round into our drum. Um, so I'll get that set up now on the roof and um, we'll start pumping some poo. Please be advised though, I'm not gonna put lots of poo on, but you will see some poo. So if you're squeamish, you might not wanna see this video. Thank you. All right, hello again, so here we are. Um, we've lifted up the solar panel, we've propped him up. Um, I've always meant to make some stands for this, but that's another story. I've actually got the metal in the shop there to do it with. Um, just another job that I haven't got round to. Um, right, right, I'm going to prime the pump up with a little drop of water, which just involves switching her on. Just a little bit of water out of the tap and the water in the tap. And Give her a little wet up. Or a little drop more in there. I mean, they will go without priming, but it's just a little bit of mechanical sympathy, it's a little bit easier on your pump. It's just been sitting there a while, and obviously, the diaphragm, um, the diaphragm, rubber diaphragm inside, and the little joker valves and stuff um, are all dry, so it just doesn't hurt to wet them up. And also, it gets better suction because the seal's inside. Seal off back there, right. Close this one onto there. Now our pump's primed. Sure it fits it just so. Then we get a drum. Another two down here, 25 litres each. Um, we drum there. Put that in there like that. I've got a little cable tie over the top actually. And this one just to hold the, the pipe on. Now it is a little bit light before I get any liquid in it. We're just going to try and pull it back a little bit. Um, but that's basically the setup. So right, now we're ready to pump some poo. Um, we've got everything primed up, everything's tight. Hopefully our pump's going to suck it up to a pass at sight glass, start passing it through the pump, into our drum, ready to dump in the Elson. It normally takes a little while to come up and round the bend because I'm asking it a lot from this little pump. Um, in the destructions, it's got a nine foot lift head and I'm asking seven foot of waste, a seven foot lift head that's including solid waste. So she does struggle a little bit, but 
Through the sight glass are all good, we can hear our pump working and our drum is filling up nicely. It's a little bit of a pong, but it's not too bad. Uh, we actually use a bio, um, a bio tank treatment that actually digests the human waste and really does sweeten it up a lot. It, it seems to be a lot better than the chemicals, you know. Um, I'll show a picture of what we use coming up at some point in a moment. But there we go, she's pumping away nicely. Um, it doesn't take it doesn't take long. Um, these tanks, uh, these drums are 25 litres each. I've only got three of them. It only ever takes me when the tank is up to four. It only ever takes me two runs, two lots of three, so six runs worth. Alright, so we're on to our second run now. I'll fill this one up, I'll fill the third one up, I'll put them in the dinghy. And we'll go to the Elson. Here's another treat for you. Right, um, I just thought I'd show you the way I change over the, um, change over the pipe into a different drum. Obviously, I have to be really careful. I'm not really a fan of SH1T, um, but this is how I found to do it. I always just just move the pipe a little bit, hold it on now. I mean, you can't be too squeamish. It's not like I get pulled my fingers, but. Can't be too squeamish. Um, I always just lift out like that. Turn around, plopping straight into the next drum. Move that lid onto that. Oh, put the lid on that one, stop being stinky. And off we go again. I normally just stand here and put my foot on it because I haven't put cable ties on all three drums like that one, but. So that's it. Fill the third drum and off to the Elson. Right, I'm gonna pop these in the dinghy. Tidy this thing out. A lot of this though is rubbish, and bits of wood I pick up out of the canal in the travels. But I found this floating around the other day. It just ends up staying in here, unfortunately. But I do do my bit where I see rubbish, I'll pull it out. That's it. Right, next stop, Elson. Oh. Like 50 litres of SH1T at a time. Come this way. Let me show you the horrors before we go around the corner. If you're not familiar with this, you might want to look away now. If it's tea time where you are, it's pretty nasty. It's a good job we ain't got smelly vision. I say it's pretty nasty. This is this is what they're all like. Unfortunately, there's a big hole in the ground where you empty your wand. And that's where it goes. The only things that should go down here are liquidized poop and toilet paper. No, 
not anything else, not your ex-boyfriend's jumper, not your goldfish that you didn't want anymore, your old trainers that you was going to chuck out but you decided to put them down one of them, no, causes hell of a lot of trouble, people throwing the most random things down Elton's, oh I'm all out of breath now for carrying them. Yeah, it causes all sorts of problems, people throwing random things, everything from jumpers to trainers. Dan Elton's, please don't do it. Come on, don't be shy. Don't be shy. No, no, come on, come on. You wanted to see it, you clicked on it. So let's have a little look. Right, so here we've got a drum of SH1T. Um, we've got the big hole in the ground. Now the art, does anyone, anyone know? Car with oil, your glug is your enemy. You do not want that glugging because it will start splashing back everywhere at you. So, you want a nice, gentle pour to start off with and a nice, steady stream of food. Right. Come closer. Come on. Get in here. Come on. Up, up. Okay. I'm going to stand specially over to one side just so you can see. We're going to give you a brief glimpse of the realities. Try not to let it clog, but I'm talking to you now, and it is starting to clog a little bit, but not too bad. I want to try and get it down the middle of the hole so you don't get no splashback, but that's a great thing about it. When you've got an Elson like this with the big cement funnel, basically. Um, now there's two types of boaters in this world. You've got well, these three types now. You've got the pump out people like me, and they do all sorts of do it themselves. You've got the cassette toilet people, and then these days you've also got the composting toilet people. Um, whatever way you choose, you're going to be messing around with poop. And I did hear the other day that the CRT along the networks are getting complaints from their bin emptying companies um, about people disposing of the compost toilet waste and causing a problem for the poor blokes the other end who are obviously sorting through it. Right, we've got the last one here. Oh, I'm going to pour it down here. Lovely. Oh, watch the splash bag. Watch this splash bag. Whenever I'm around splashing poo, if it lands anywhere, it lands on my lip or something. And I'm in here talking where normally I'd have my mouth and my nose firmly sealed. So right, here's our last drum. Here's our last drum. Step one empty. Put our lid back on because it's a bit stinky. Flush. We get our little hose. Ooh, we'll a little bit of a... There we go. And then we get our hose pipe, which is, which is normally always available. Um, and I've found people don't tend to get the end of these pooey as much as what you don't want to touch them. They're normally all right. I mean, you're not going to want to go straight home and eat your dinner after doing this, but there you go. Right, so tap on. I always just give him a little swish out. So it's just ready for the next person. I mean, you could bring, and I have seen people do it, you can bring a little spray of bleach or a little spray of cleaner or something. Um, if you value your fellow boaters, and you can give it a little spruce up with a little drop of that, make it smell nice for the next person. Right, so when I'm ready to disconnect, obviously this line of, um, this line of hose and the pump and the bit of lay flat that goes down to the drum has got poo in it and you don't want to store it like that and you don't want to rinse it out to the canal that's a big no-no poor little fishies and the poor ducks and everything it's just terrible i know people do do it because i've seen the remnants of it i'll just loosen that off around there again i've still got the end in my drum i'm getting my watering can of water i do use a little bit of canal water Turning around at an angle, I'll switch my pump on, like I say, the other end's still in the drum. I'll just give him a rinse throw. Like so, let the pump run for a second so it just empties itself out.
we could do that another couple of times um, but for me that's fine this gets stored in a little box outside um, especially in weather weather like we've been having as well make sure there's no water left inside this when you do store it if you are storing it outside in a shed or whatever so there it is